Yo, what's up guys, Go to here, back at the new video, and in today's video, we're gonna be actually ranking all the awakened devil fruits in Blogs Fruits. Currently, there are only 12 devil fruits which can be awakened, and to be honest, these awakened devil fruits are one of the most strongest devil fruits in the game. So I think it's a good idea to figure out which ones are the best ones, cause then you can just awaken those and save your time and also your fragments. Also, before we get into the video, we are trying to hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year and as you guys can already see we are pretty close so please hit the subscribe button that is greatly appreciated without further ado let's get right into it so here we are in the tier list and as you guys can see here are all the devil fruits which are going to be ranked in this video and the tiers which i'm going to be ranking these into are as follows best good and eh Okay, so I think without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. The first devil fruit that we have on the list is the dark fruit. And this devil fruit is one of my personal favorite devil fruits in the game. And it is only famous for one thing and one thing only, and that is known as stunning people. This devil fruit has one of the best stunning moves in the game. As all of you guys already know that the moves which stun people are extremely strong. Whether it is for PvP or for killing bosses or just farming in general, Dark is definitely one of the best awakened devil fruits in the game. And also a plus point is that it is very very cheap so you guys can get it really really easily unlike some devil fruits like Doe or Rumble which you guys would have to wait for like a month or so and then they will be in the stock. So Dark is definitely going to be in the best tier. Then the next devil fruit we have on the list is the Doe fruit. This one is actually very very strong and super cool looking. And without a doubt this devil fruit is famous for its one tap combos. It just goes with anything and everything. You can use whatever fighting style you want, you can use whatever sword you want, whatever gun you want, but this devil fruit will stay strong with all of them. Because it has high damage, it has moves which stun people, it also has gap closing moves which basically means that if your opponent is running away from you or is fighting from a far range you can basically hit them or just bring them into closer range which is definitely a very strong thing for a devil fruit to have and without a doubt doe has it so this devil fruit is going to be going in the best tier as well and will be going above dark fruit because the damage is just too insane. Like Dark is only good for stunning people, but Doe is good for stunning people and also dealing damage. And you can use it with literally anything in the game and it will be very, very strong. So that's why Doe is gonna be in the best tier. Then moving on into the next fruit, we have the Flame Fruit. And after awakening this fruit, this fruit becomes into a spamming machine. If you guys know how to use Flame, it is extremely strong. But the only thing which I don't like about this is that it has a bit of knockback and also it does not have any stunning moves because you can't get somebody in a combo but the thing which actually makes this devil fruit strong is that you guys don't even need to do combos just spam simple as that just spam this devil fruit and you will win the fight i've seen so many flame users who just literally run and hit you run and hit you and they never get caught in your combos and then spam their moves left right and center which is very very annoying so for that reason this devil fruit will go in the good tier not the best one because for pvp obviously there are better options because for example like the doe fruit if you are using that you can just end the fight in like two seconds but with flame you guys would have to hit your opponent repeatedly for at least 10 to 15 seconds and then they would die you know so that's why it's gonna go in the good tier then moving on we have the ice devil fruit this one is actually a very strong devil fruit and i think has the most strongest stun move in the game um, its V move is extremely strong. You guys can just stun your opponent and then one tap them really really easily. It also has one of those cancer builds like you know some stat builds are just so annoying and with ice the SDM rifle and ice combination is just cancer like literally cancer. If you guys are fighting like a really good SDM rifle and an ice user trust me you are dead like you cannot fight them because with the SDM rifle even if he 
hits you with one bullet you're gonna be getting like 3000 or 4000 damage with that and that is a lot and for example if he hits you with his moves yeah yeah it's just a wrap you're dead so definitely ice is going to be in the best tier it has the strongest stunning move in the game then we have the buddha fruit a really really strong devil fruit for farming yes for farming it is the best farming devil fruit in the game and makes it really really easy to farm in blocks fruits basically it makes you invincible because whenever you press the z button it turns you into a big yellow buddha and in that your hitbox is very weird so like the small npcs can't even hit you if they don't use their moves and you can just repeatedly punch them or slice them with your sword and easy easy exp this also works on bosses on normal players which are going to be pvping you but i wouldn't recommend pvping with buddha it is the definition of cancer like nobody wants to fight a buddha user because it's like too unfair you know so yeah don't use it for pvp but for farming this devil fruit is the best so it's gonna go at number two then we have the awakened magma and before i actually did not like the awakening but after this new update i really like it because the moves are very smooth very good looking and also deal a lot of damage but the only thing which makes this devil fruit bad is that it does not have any stunning moves just like flame but with flame you can spam that but with magma you cannot spam magma but still magma does a lot of damage so if you guys are using Using some good swords or some good guns with it you guys can deal a lot of damage but still i think it does not deserve to be in the best tier because um that's a bit too much for this devil fruit all right moving on into the next fruit and now we have the phoenix fruit this one is by far the most annoying devil fruit to fight against in blocks fruits because your opponent can just go away for five seconds and heal to his full health which is obviously not that fun if you guys are bouncy hunting or if you guys are just fighting for fun because he can just go back heal and come back and fight you again while you are still low so that's why it deserves to be in the best tier but i'm still going to be ranking it below ice then moving on we have the rumble fruit um as you guys would already know nowadays rumble is getting very famous for pvps especially for its stuns it has really good stunning moves which can allow it to do some really really strong combos um and same goes with rumble that it normally goes with everything that you use whatever you use with rumble it will most likely work and will deal a lot of damage so i think i don't even have to explain that much about rumble it is very very strong but if we compare it to Do, I think Do is a bit more stronger because if we put stat points into the Devil Fruit, Do can easily kill an opponent. But if we talk about Rumble in that compartment, I think Rumble will struggle a bit, but it will eventually kill the opponent. But I think Do is still above Rumble and will be for the rest of Blocks Fruits. All right, moving on into the Quake Fruits. Personally, I don't like this Devil Fruit. Like there are a few Devil Fruits that everybody hates or just doesn't like in the game, and and this fruit is one of them for me if you guys just air camp this devil fruit becomes very very bad or if the other person has the mink race it's very hard to hit them with the moves of this devil fruit which also is a huge disadvantage because almost everybody is the mink race and it also requires a really good ping to use because the moves have a lot of delay so i'm going to be ranking it in the good tier but it's going to go above magma and also flame because it's definitely better than both of those then moving on into the awakened light this devil fruit is pretty strong if you guys ask me especially after the revamp all you need is some good aim and some good game sense and when you guys have that it is very very strong and obviously for farming it is super super useful because it has the fastest flight in the game also has some pretty good moves which work on all npcs rather than one npc so you can just group up your npcs and kill them really really easily also all of its moves don't have knockback which is very very good for farming so that's why this devil fruit is going to go in the best tier because now it's actually good for pvp as well so i'm going to be putting it here then we have the sand fruit a very strong and very powerful devil fruit to pvp with but the thing which i don't like about sand is that like it's really difficult to use if you guys don't have good ping because i've seen some people do some insane combos with sand and just, and they just do a really fast and flashy combo kill you in like a couple of seconds and stuff like that but when i tried to use sand but it just didn't quite meet up to my expectations like i couldn't use it to its full potential because i play on like 200 ping or sometimes even 300 and it just didn't give me the full experience
defense as I expected, but this doesn't mean that it is not a good devil fruit. It has good damage, it also has good combo potential and all of the things which a good devil fruit has. So it's definitely gonna be going in the best tier and it's gonna be going above the light fruit but not above the phoenix fruit. Then we have the last fruit of the video which is the string fruit and this one is actually pretty strong as well but only requires some good aim. If you guys have really good aim, you guys can do some insane combos like super good one tap combos and it will be very very easy to kill your opponents. But the thing which I don't like about this fruit, it has some pretty big cooldowns which I don't like but still if you guys know how to use string and have really good aim, you can definitely make this a super strong devil fruit to use. So yeah, I think that wraps up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know which devil fruit you guys are using and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.